All right, everybody, welcome to today's workout. It is Tuesday, so you guys know what that means. We have got upper body, all right? Just a little public service announcement. I don't know if that's the right word for this, but you are going to need a piece of equipment today. We are using a belt here because that's what we have at the gym. However, you can use a shirt or a towel. Um, you know, you want to use a slightly bigger than a dish towel, so don't use a dish towel, but you can use, you know, it doesn't have to be too big, just something that you can grab. We're going to be doing towel curls on round B today as part of our strength and conditioning. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side. If you need to go grab that, just pause this and jump right back in once you're ready. So we're going to get started. We have got round A, inchworm. So you're going to walk it out, walk it back up. That's one. You're going to do that five times. And then we have plank walk. So use the space you have. You're going to walk over. All right, you can either walk over four times, two times, however much space you have, down and back, that equals one. You can do that three times total. So five inch worms, plank walk down and back three times. Do what works for you in the space you have. Hopefully you have a little bit of space. If you can only walk one side, one side, just make it six, make it work, okay? Here we go, so we're getting started. Remember, round A is our warm up. Okay, we have upper body today. We really wanna go after those shoulders Get that core engaged, get that body warm. This is even warm, warming up your lower body here, your hamstrings. Try and keep your legs as straight as you can. Get a nice stretch through those hamstrings, especially if you did yesterday's workout. I know that your lower body is probably feeling it. So this is a good opportunity to kind of relieve some uh, muscle aches and some tension there. Relax your hamstrings a little bit, warm it up, get your body warm. This is a full body exercise here. You'll be ready to go. Your body will be nice and primed especially once we get into round B, we got that strength and conditioning, and you definitely want your upper body warm when you're throwing those punches because it's gonna work your shoulders and your lats, okay? So Olivia's moving into that plank walk. She's got enough space here. She's doing four over and then four back. Notice she's moving her hand and her feet at the same time. She's staying flat as a board. She's not letting her hips drop. She's not raising them up. She's staying as level as she can. It's a little difficult not to let your hips swing, okay? Hip swing like this is what I mean. So do your best to keep those straight, squeeze that core, suck the belly button up to your spine. All right, so she's on her third lap now. She will be going back into those inchworms. Believe me, your shoulders are gonna be nice and warm. You're gonna be you're getting your heart rate up here, even though it's big muscle groups, taking a little bit of time, slower, uh, lower impact, lower intensity, that's okay. You're still getting that body warm. I'm sure by the end of this, you'll be between that 70 and 80% of your max heart rate, which is perfect because in the next round, we're going to get you up there and you're going to be doing some strength training. All right, so you got a minute and a half left in this round. Let's keep pushing, keep moving here. Here we go. So you can take your time in this, all right? Olivia's taking her time. She's not rushing through this. Obviously, she wants to maintain good form. That's a huge thing that we emphasize here, whether that's online workouts, you're in the gym, you're training with a trainer, all right? That's one of the great things about surge kickboxing is you get that personal attention from a trainer, whether it's on these online videos, right? Olivia's demonstrating the exercise. I'm here to correct her if I need to. I'm here to give you guys quick tips to make sure that you're maintaining good form and proper technique so you don't get hurt. That's one of the ways that you can bulletproof your body from getting hurt. You build your body strong the correct way. You're going to get results much faster. Okay, so maintaining proper form is something that we strive for greatly here at Surge Kickboxing, whether it's online or in person. We love it when we have people in the gym, especially during this time. It's more of a one-on-one -on -one feel, but without the one-on-one -on -one price. So if you're in the area, definitely come check us out. If you're doing these online, that's completely fine as well. We're always here to support you. Kickouts. Okay, you can email us, reach out to us. We will take care of you. All right, we are moving into the second round. We have five burpees, all right? So you're going down, push up, jumping back up. That equals one, okay? Five of them. You can do a sprawl here. You can break it down, slow things down, get that push up. Then you're gonna grab that towel or whatever you have. You can even use a belt yourself, like one of those leather belts, that's fine. You're gonna grab it, slide it under your knee. Here, you're doing a curl, towel curl. Watch my hands. Boom, I'm doing a curl, squeeze it at the top, okay? So Olivia's getting into those burpees here. She's gonna start with five. I'm gonna 
leave this next to her so she can grab it when she's ready to hop into those towel curls. Now, a couple things. If you're not there yet, you're not at Olivia's pace, that's completely fine. Get your hands down, walk your feet out, all right? If you can do a push-up, great. Walk your feet back in, bam, you're back up. All right, next level. You're gonna step that feet all the way out. Boom, if you can do a push-up, that's great. Step it back in and up, all right? If you can't do a push-up, that's fine. Just walk out into a plank. And then you can break it down, hip hinge, squat, hands down, out, push up, hop those feet back in and up, all right, good. So you see Olivia here, obviously the range of motion is limited, limited because we don't have dumbbells or um, resistance bands. Now if you have those at home, feel free. You can do curls with those, just make sure you're not swinging your arms, okay? That's the great thing about this, it's an isometric hold. You have to control it. Okay, you have to focus on your balance, engage your core here. When you pull up, go as high as you can. Once you reach that top spot, squeeze it, flex those biceps. Boom, slow it back down. You can provide resistance with your leg. Try not to let your leg pull that arm down. Another thing, squeeze that towel or whatever you're grabbing as tight as you can. That's gonna work your grip strength as well. You're gonna be engaged the whole time through that. It's 10 of them. It shouldn't be going too fast. You should be going slow through this isometric hold. All right, also working your balance. So you see Olivia there, she's pulling up, squeezing tight at the top, and then she's using her knee to provide that resistance, pushing down, not letting her just drop down, right? Slow and controlled down as well. You're working both directions here, all the way through these curls. Okay, this is one of the best exercises that I've discovered for body weight or without gym equipment exercises for your biceps, okay? Thought, you know, we like to have nice biceps. You don't want to be huge like Arnold, I understand, but having a nice toned bicep that goes into your shoulder makes your arms look nice. All right, so that's why we work it. Your biceps are used not too often. They're not the most functional uh, muscle, but that's okay. We still got to work them because we want to even everything out. We're going to work a lot of triceps today. We're going to work shoulders. We want to even it out, work our whole arm. You're also working your forearms with that grip. You're working your balance and your core. Okay, you got 30 seconds left. Try and get through those five burpees if that's where you're at. Otherwise, get through those curls and get to that burpee. Do what works for you. You can start to pick up the pace now. We're already two rounds into the workout and we are moving and grooving, all right? We're gonna get after it. We're moving into round C next. That's always a good one. You're gonna be working your shoulders there. A Little bit of cardio, little bit of core, little bit of upper body. Focus on the upper body today. That's good, sun's out, gun's out. I know that it's nice here in Colorado, so we are gonna be taking advantage of that sun. Need an elbow here? Okay, so we are moving on to our next round. We have got round C. So you have 40 hits, all right? Keep those hands high, moving through nice and fast. Remember, squeeze it tight. You can bounce a little if you'd like, whatever works for you. And then we have 20 mountain climbers. So you're in that high plank here, bringing your knee to your chest. I'll show you from the side here, knee to chest. All right, notice my hips aren't coming up as I jump up. I'm keeping my hips down, driving those knees up. You can go as fast as you'd like here or as slow as you'd like here. Okay, so 40 hits and then 20 mountain climbers. Really engage the core there. You're also gonna be engaging your um, shoulders as well. So lock those hands out, get a nice solid base before you jump into those mountain climbers. So you see Olivia here, she's bouncing, she's hitting, she's moving into these mountain climbers. All right, she sets in place in that high plank and then she's pushing through. She wants to get a little cardio burn here. She's driving those knees to her chest, holding herself strong, engaging the shoulders, engaging her core here. All right, and then she's back at it, going one leg hops here. The possibilities are endless on these. You can hop on one leg, you can hop on two legs, you can hold a squat, you can butt kick, you can kick out. There's plenty of options. Just make sure you're keeping those elbows high, rolling through 40 times. You wanna feel the burn in your shoulder. Squeeze those fists tight, roll a little faster. All right, you can practice your dance moves here. All right, this is to simulate a speed bag. If you've never hit a speed bag, it's the one where you see in Rocky movies or Creed or whatever, the boxing movies, and you see them, they're hitting that thing and it's like durra, durra, durra. Okay, so this is to practice. You wanna maintain good form. Less is more on that bag. If you ever come into the gym and hit it, we'll always teach you the same thing every time. You're rolling through the bag, keeping your elbow in one space. Because if I bring my elbow down, it's gonna take that much more time to bring it back up to hit. All right, less is more. Keep it where it is, boom, boom, boom. You'll get real good at it real quick. Okay, so this is helping you practice to get that. It's also burning those shoulders out, 
That's what we want to do, get a little fatigue. That way when you have to hold up, you really have to isolate those shoulders. You feel the burn there. All right, keep moving here. You got a minute and a half left in this round. You guys are doing great. You're already a third of the way through the workout. Here we go, keep it up. All right, if you guys are keeping up with Olivia, that's great. If not, you're not there yet, work your way up, set goals, try and reach them. Throughout this program, you should be progressing. That's the whole point, okay? You don't have to become an elite athlete or train, you know, as hard as Olivia does. She's training, she's doing crazy things like Ironman and all those, these other things. So if you're not there yet or your goal is different from hers, that's completely fine. Go at your own pace, make sure you're pushing yourself, try and progress each time. Okay, we like to measure in measurable, I know that sounds weird. We wanna have measurable goals, all right? Whether that's doing 10 push-ups, doing a full unassisted push uh, pull-up, all right? Squatting a certain amount of weight, whatever it is, that's a way that we like to measure here. Make sure you're taking advantage of that fit test. Do that at the beginning of this transformation. See how much you can progress every two weeks. I'm sure you're gonna get more than the last time butt kickers. And if you're not, then you need to push yourself a little bit harder. It's a good tool for you to help measure. All right, here we go. We're moving into round D. We have six archer push-ups. So archer push-up, you're going to have your hands wide. You're going down to one side and down to the other side. Okay, so you can put your hands as wide as you want. If you need to, I'm going to show you guys some modifications. Only six of those. And then from that plank, you're going to do 10 plank punches. We're really going after that upper body today. All right, I'm gonna show you guys some modifications on those archer push-ups. So, you see Olivia here, she's pushing down to one side and then to the other side. Okay, other option you can do is hands here. You're gonna step it out into a wide push-up, back up, wide push-up, back up. Okay, do what works for you. If you need to drop to your knees, that's completely fine as well. Just make sure you're maintaining that good form. What I mean by that is if you are on your knees, you want to sit a little high forward, squeeze those glutes, maintain that proper core, keep those forearms going up and down. You don't want to have your arms flaring out. That's going to hurt your elbows. All right, here we go. I know Olivia's feeling it already. It's only round D. We still got some more to go. She's working hard. She's doing her best. That's all you guys need to do at home. Just make sure you're maintaining proper form. If your form starts to go south, shake it out. Come back in when you're ready. You can drop down to your knees. You can always modify here. Okay, same thing on those plank punches. If you need to drop to your knees for those as well, just make sure you're squeezing that core. That's the main thing. We're working the core, working your shoulders here. All right, keep up the good work. You guys are doing great. You have a minute and a half left in this round. Olivia is really pushing through. She's slowing things down. You can see a little shake in her arm. That's good. That means she's working. That means those muscles are really working. All right, the way that you're gonna build muscle is it tears and then it rebuilds stronger. So if you're shaking and you're fatigued, that's a good sign. Obviously you don't wanna get hurt. So if you need to modify, but push through as much as you can. Believe in yourself. We believe in you. We know you can do it. If you don't think you can, just give it that much extra. All right, a lot of this is mental, mind over matter. You're able to do it. If you think you can only do five push-ups, you're only gonna be able to do five push-ups. But if you think you can do more, you're gonna be able to do more. I challenge you, push yourself. You wanna get results? You're gonna have to push just a little bit. We're here to coach you guys through that. Hopefully we can hold you accountable. Again, like I said, if you ever need any support, reach out to us, search kickboxing at gmail.com. I'll be able to answer anything. We can also do a Zoom call or anything like that if you want some accountability coaching. We are always here for you. Whatever way we can, just let us know. Do your best here, keep pushing through. You guys are doing great. Five seconds left, finish out the round. 
let's do some arm rotations. You guys just worked your chest, okay? Get some nice arm rotations here. You can even do some huggers, okay? Relax those arms a little bit. We are going into a combo. We have jab, cross, jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, cross, okay? Think four, slip, three. Jab, cross, jab, cross, that's four. Slip, cross, hook, cross, that's three, okay? We'll slow that down. You're gonna do that eight times. Then you have 30 hits, light on those feet like your shadow boxing, your choice. You can even add a kick in there if you'd like, or make sure you're adding some defense, offense, staying light on those toes, keeping those hands up, okay? So we're starting with that combo. This one you can really go for speed. There's only three techniques, jab, cross, and hook. So jab, cross, jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, cross, all right? Go through it a couple times slow, then you can start to pick up the pace. Stay light on those toes, keep those hands up. Remember, when you're firing those punches, my other hand is always staying loaded in that chamber. So as soon as I'm ready, this one comes back, this one goes forward. Whether that's a hook, uppercut, jab, cross, even if I'm in a front kick, that way when I land, I can throw my punch, okay? So make, keep those hands up. Olivia's gonna switch sides. She's gonna do eight on one side, eight on the other side. We highly encourage you guys to get after that. On both sides, it works your brain as well as your body. You even things out, right? You don't want to only be able to throw a cross on one side or a roundhouse kick on one leg because then you're going to be uneven. You're going to have one big giant leg and the other leg is going to be all skinny chicken leg. That's not good, okay? We want to even, even it out here, get a little symmetry. It also works your brain, which is great for fitness, helps you think under pressure. It's going to increase your, enhance your quality of life by that much more. Even just the little things, switching sides, okay? It may be little, may be insignificant to you, but just try it out, see what it does for you. It's gonna help you mentally and you know, progress that much quicker. So that's what we're all about here. All right, so after you do eight on each side, you're going into those 30 hits. You can do whatever combo you'd like. Add some defense, add some ducks, add some movement, all right? Stay light on those toes, add some kicks if you'd like. Whatever you wanna do, maintain proper form. If you guys are tired, this is an opportunity. Slow things down, focus on your form, focus on your breathing, catch up modify and then pick it back up once you're ready if you're wearing a heart rate monitor check yourself if you're between that 80 and 90 percent that's perfect if you're up above that 90 percent that's okay you want to stay there for maybe 30 seconds you want to try and bring it back down between that 80 and 90 percent you don't want to be there for too long and if you're between that 70 and 80 percent you might want to think about picking it up a little bit you want to get up between that 80 and 90 percent you're in that anaerobic exercise area it's only 30 minutes the benefits are going to be huge it's going to be long lasting all day aerobic only working during that time anaerobic is going to have continual benefits you're going to it's like a fire your body is like a um an engine a steam engine okay you load it up with coals it's going to continue to burn hotter and hotter Okay, so here you're, you're getting that fire stoked. It's nice and hot. You're gonna need to fuel yourself. So make sure you're checking out that nutrition, feeling yourself, but you want your body at that max burning level. That way you're burning all those calories. You're building muscle. You're able to eat a little bit more or whatever your choice is, depending on your goal. Okay, but you wanna make sure you're feeling your body. Make sure you're you know, taking care of yourself. That way you can come back. You can keep pushing harder, get that fire even hotter, work a little bit harder each and every time. All right, here we go. We're finishing strong. Two up, two back. All right, a little uh, salsa there. All right, we're dropping to round F. So in the gym, round F is this bag, the, the wrecking ball here. So we're gonna simulate like we're hitting the wrecking ball, but also you're gonna go onto your knees. One of the things is this is gonna take the power out from your legs, so you have to focus on your arms and your core. All right, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna do 20, 30, sorry, 30 uppercuts. Boom, 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 30. Then you're gonna be in a V-sit position, like a Russian twist, legs up. You're punching up, boom, boom, 20 of them there. If your knees are slightly bent, that's fine. If you need to, grab under those legs, straighten out those arms, engage that core, boom, boom, boom. All right, so notice Olivia's on her knees, so that takes away from her, uh, the power from the ground. All right, you gotta work your arms a little bit more. You don't get that hip rotation as much either. Engage that core, boom, boom. Focus on the arm, focus on your target. Now notice she's got straight legs here, all right? She's super, super strong and super flexible. She's got the best of both worlds here. If you're not there yet and you need to bend your knees, that's fine. If your feet are on the ground, that's fine as well. Make sure you're leaning back, engaging that core. Keep those hands up, maintain good form, whether that's in this uppercut here, all right? I wanna keep my hands up so I practice good form. That way when I take it to the bag or take it to my shadow boxing, I still have good form. Same thing in that V-sit, boom, boom, boom. The more you practice it, 
the more muscle memory it's going to be, repetition, repetition, repetition. It's going to be ingrained in your brain. You won't ever have to forget. And if you go to a boxing gym or anything and they say, keep your hands up, they're not going to say that because your hands are already up. It's already ingrained in your brain. All right, so keep practicing good form. You guys are doing great. You're more than halfway done with the workout here. We only have three more rounds left. This one's giving you a little opportunity to catch up with your breath, focus on that core. We are working upper body, and your core is included in your upper body, so we're going after it. Here we go. Keep moving, keep pushing. A minute and a half left in this round. You guys are almost done. Here we go. Less than a minute left, all right? Olivia's finishing out strong. She hasn't let her knees bent that whole time. She keeps her, el her hands up, elbows tucked in. She's working on that form and engaging her core and working her shoulders as well. A lot of people, you wanna make sure you're engaging your lat, engaging your arm here, your, your shoulders during those punches. It's just gonna help you tone those muscles out. You're gonna be lean, mean, fighting machines. Here we go, 30 seconds left, finish it out strong. Kuma just woke up from her nap, so now she wants to play. Go back there. Here we go, 10 seconds left, finish strong. <laughs> Butt kickers. All right, we are moving into round G, all right? So we're gonna go plank to down dog toe touch. You're in that high plank here. You're gonna step back in, or sit back into a down dog, push those hips high, reaching, trying to touch that opposite toe here, boom. All right, keep those legs straight, try and reach through. You're gonna be working your shoulders and your core there. You got 10 of them. And then you have 10 jab crosses each leg. So jab cross here, back, you can move a little between, boom, boom. That's one, boom, boom, two, 10 of them, each leg, all right? So you see Olivia here, she's in that high plank. She's reaching back, touching that toe. She's pushing her hips back, getting a nice work into her shoulders, engaging that core. If you wanna add a little intensity here, we have a rule at Surge Kickboxing, or not a rule, but a way that we like to add intensity here is adding a push-up. So if this isn't really working too much for you, add a push-up, then push yourself back into that down dog. Believe me, you will feel it. That's always a great way to add intensity. If, whether we say it or not, you can always add push-ups. I'm a huge advocate of push-ups. Number one, it develops your punching power. Number two, it helps your chest, shoulders, triceps. So you're working all those glamour muscles. If you want to be in a, a bikini or a tank top or you know, shirtless at the beach, for guys, obviously. And then, uh, but it's gonna help you, you know, push-ups are huge. It helps you, number one, with your pullback on your punch and your extension on your punch. Okay, so you're working all those muscles. It's core, it's full body, and it's, it's just the best workout in my opinion. I love push-ups. That's why we always add it as an intensifier here. Okay, so keep moving, keep grooving. You guys are doing great. You wanna finish this out strong here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Lay down. If you guys ever get a chance to come into the gym, you get to see Kuma here. She's our mascot. She's friendly. She'll give you a little nibble while you're doing a plank, but that's okay. Uh -uh. Down. Stay. Here we go. Finish it out strong. You got a minute and 10 seconds left in this round. And then we are going into our surge round. And then we have got our core round.
There we go. Finish strong. Olivia's pushing. She's adding a little push up. She wants to work hard. She's strong. All right. You guys can be there too. Just keep pushing. Keep working. All right. Olivia didn't start like this. She started out the same as everyone else. She wanted to get fit. She kept coming in. She pushed herself and she achieved results. You can do the same thing as her. All right. You just got to maintain it. She comes every single day. So she's a, she's a fitness monster. All right. So if you're not hanging with her, don't be discouraged. Just work your way up to it. Practice makes perfect. All right. Once you start coming in every day, you get getting those results, hip circles, you're going to feel it. Believe me, you're going to get addicted to it. So we are moving into our surge round. Okay. So we're all going to start with our left leg forward, hands up in that fighter's position. If you're a southpaw, meaning your right leg is forward, that's okay. We're going to switch halfway through. Okay. So we're going to go through a combo. We got the combination of the week this week. So we're going to start with that. All right, we're gonna build our way up through this combo. So when that buzzer goes off, everybody left leg forward, hands up in that fighter's position. We're gonna stay nice and light on our toes. We're gonna to start simple, then we're gonna add some stuff. So got jab, cross, hook. All right, we're gonna start there. So jab, cross, hook. One more, jab, cross, hook. Now you're gonna slip to the left or your hook side. So jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, same hand, cross. Okay, so jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross good jab cross hook slip hook cross jab cross hook slip hook cross here we go one more jab cross hook slip hook cross now after this cross you're gonna duck whoop oops sorry S nope that's not right so after this cross you're gonna slip then you're gonna duck then you're gonna hook cross again okay so jab cross hook slip hook cross slip duck hook cross so watch my body i slip back my weight is on my back leg i'm going to drop under and then boom boom all right here we go jab cross hook slip hook cross slip duck hook cross here we go so the first slip is forward second slip is backward here we go jab cross hook slip hook cross slip duck hook cross there we go two more Jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, duck, hook, cross. Make sure you're slipping off that line on both of them. All right, if the punch is coming at me, I want to get out of the way or get out of the way. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, duck, hook, cross. Let's do one more on this side. Jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, duck, hook, cross. Nice. Switch your legs. All right. Got about a minute and a half left. We're going to work this other side. Let's start slow. Jab, cross, hook slip hook cross slip duck hook cross okay two things on a slip think your opposite shoulder to your opposite knee dropping my right shoulder to my left knee or my left shoulder to my right knee second thing on this front slip it's like you're throwing a cross except you're keeping your hand up dropping a little bit bit down slipping off the line here okay so ready jab cross hook slip hook cross slip duck hook cross make sure you're drawing a u with that duck keep your head up Bend with your knees, not your waist. Jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, duck, hook, cross. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, duck, hook, cross. Nice. Three more. Jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, duck, hook, cross. Good. Two more. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, duck, hook, cross. Final one. Jab, cross, hook, slip, hook, cross, slip, duck, hook, cross. Good. Get into that low squat here. Okay. Uppercuts. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet together. Back out. Hooks. Five, four, three, two, one. Toe touches. Nice work, everyone. All right. We're moving into our final round. It is Tuesday. You know what that means. We got tacos. Taco Tuesday. So we got 10 tacos legs and hands up together at the same time. If you need to bend your knees and do a soft taco, that's completely fine as well. 10 of them. Then we got 10, 20, I'm sorry, 20 plank rockers. Okay. So you're going to be in that low plank here, dipping your hips down, down. All right. I'll show you when Olivia gets to work because Kuma's bugging me here. Okay. So let's start with those tacos. We got 10 of them. All right, you see Olivia, she's doing her best to keep her legs straight. She's got a slight bend, that's all right. But what she's doing, she's not letting her feet touch the ground. She's slow and controlled here, squeezing that core, really engaged here. All 
All right, now into those plank hip dips. All right, so see, she's in that low plank here. She's dipping her hip down from side to side. All right, so you're dipping your hip down and down as low as you can. Do your best here, squeeze it tight. Don't let those hips sag, just rock them from side to side. Here we go, this is the final round, finish it out strong. minute and a half left after this we're going to hold that plank together it's only 30 seconds you guys are doing great all right olivia is really slow and controlled here that's a great tool to use during core exercises okay you really want to work your core you really want to isolate things slow it down notice boom she's up squeezes it at the top and then she's down she doesn't let her legs uh hit the ground okay so here she's sliding her hips over Side to side, again, slow and controlled. She's maintaining a solid core, squeezing it tight as she rotates, all right? It's not, she's not getting wobbly or unengaged. The, the word here for core is engaged. Stay engaged, stay strong, keep it tight. You wanna build through, push through all of that good stuff here, all right? Olivia's doing a great job. I'm sure you guys are at home. Maintain that good form, squeeze it as tight as you can. I know your body is fatigued. That's why we want to work your core. Think about it. In the real world, sometimes you're going to be in a situation, hopefully not, but you may be in a situation where you're fatigued, you're tired, you're scared, you're alone, you don't know what to do. You got to maintain your core because you got to run up that hill or get away, get to safety. You have to maintain proper or you have to maintain core strength, whether you're walking your dog, you're on a hike, you need to save yourself, pull yourself up, you have to maintain that core. We like to focus on it at the end. We know you're fatigued. That's really when you're gonna get that work in. All right, so let's finish strong here. Five seconds left, then we're going into that plank. It's gonna be awesome. Bam, plank hold. All right, squeeze it tight. Here we go, less than 10 seconds left. Boom. Nice work, y'all. All right, slowly take your time standing up. I'm gonna grab the buzzer, all right? We're gonna do a cool down for that upper body, help you guys get some relief there in your chest and your triceps and shoulders. All right, nice work today. I know that one was probably a tough one. You are feeling it, that's good, okay? You wanna be feeling that in your upper body. All right, so let's take a couple deep breaths in, but this time when you breathe out, I want you guys to pull your elbows back, really stretch out that chest, breathe through here, okay? So deep breath, inhale, exhale, feel that stretch through that chest, nice. One more inhale, exhale, Good. Okay, now we're gonna take a deep breath, inhale. I want you guys to reach up as high as you can, okay? Feel that through all the way down your sides, up through your shoulders. Exhale, let it swing, let that blood flow. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, good. All right, let's do some huggers here. Opening up that chest, feel that. All right, I know you guys worked it, your shoulders, your chest, your triceps, all that good stuff. All right, now we're gonna do a backstroke. Right hand, all right, keep that arm as straight as possible. Rolling through, getting a nice stretch in that shoulder. Three, about three or four times back, and then we're gonna switch it to forward. Good, and then let's switch sides. And then switch. Good, okay? Now you're gonna take that one arm out straight. You're gonna pull it across. Notice my shoulder, it's not coming up here, okay? So keep that shoulder pinned down, pull that arm across. Keeping that shoulder pinned down is gonna help you get that much more of a stretch through that shoulder, 
Okay, here we go. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Good, and switch sides, same thing. Don't let that shoulder come up. Keep that shoulder pinned down to the ground. All right, now you're gonna grab that other, or take that other arm, you're gonna pull it up, you're gonna place it between your shoulder blades here, okay? Now you're gonna grab that elbow with your other arm, pull it, another thing you can do is bring that chin up and let the back of your head push into your forearm, that way you're pulling back as well. Feel that through your tricep. And then switch sides. Good. All right. Shake it out here. We're going to do a couple last stretches here. You're going to, you can put your one hand, support your knee here. All right. And let that swing like you're stirring a big old pot of chili or soup and switch directions. Let that blood flow into your arm through. Okay. You want to get a lot of blood and oxygen. Your blood is what carries those proteins that help rebuild your muscle. So you just tore them, broke them down. You want to rebuild them strong. That's why you want to fill your body with some good food. Make sure you're drinking lots of water. Get that oxygen in there. Okay, slowly swing it up. All right, that was just a quick little breakdown. Of course, we'd love for you guys to talk to our nutritionist. He can help you with some more in-depth stuff. Okay, we're moving into our final stretch here. You're gonna take your hands, you're gonna cross them, palms together. Okay, what you wanna do is push down and against each other at the same time, really get a nice arch in that back here. Okay, push through. So just real quick on that nutrition piece, we work with a certified nutritionist. He's in line with what I believe is a good um, way to view nutrition. All right, it's not so much about counting calories. We're gonna grab our hands here behind and push those uh, um, palms together. And then you're gonna push down, feel that stretch through your chest and your shoulders. Okay, so like I said, we're not so much into counting calories here or making sure you're measuring out your food and this, that, and the other. It's more of a relationship for us. It's a way that you can develop healthy habits you feel good, it's gonna help you, you know, with whatever your goals are, but you feel a lot better, your body feels better, you're developing healthy habits and relationship with food. If, you need to, or if you'd like to talk to him, I can definitely get you his information. He's a great, great uh, guy. He can help you with whatever your goal is. All right, so let's take one more deep breath, inhale, exhale, pull those elbows back, <sighs> nice. Okay, if you need a little bit more of a cool down, be sure you check out that cool down video. If you need anything from us, you know how to reach us, surgekickboxing at gmail.com or on the Instagram or Facebook. We'd be happy to work with you whatever way we can. We want to support you in any way we can. Okay, so have a great rest of your day. Hopefully you got a good workout. We'll see you guys tomorrow. It is cardio. Be sure you drink lots of water, stretch, feel your body. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow.